Reading um, to have released him. The crime writer Colin Wilson, yeah. he uh, Brady started writing to him, and they had some correspondence, yeah. mm. uh, you know, over the years. Um, and he said his conclusion actually was that he would have been better off being hung or being allowed to kill himself mm. because he said, "What have we achieved? You mm. probably couldn't rehabilitate him." Mm. You know, the, and, and well, the, when he went on his, side, I think, but him. I think, um, and the point that I made earlier was, I, I, I agree with everything you say about the penal system. I'm saying, as a parent. I think a lot of that would have gone out of my head, actually, and it would have been, I'm happier that he suffered for actually yeah. 60 years. That's what, as a parent of a child... That but, then, of... but then when he was um, trying to, um, you know, go on the um, stop eating and stop hunger, hunger strike... Stomach, yeah. yeah, he was forced by... And then it cost them three million to force feed him. Surely, if somebody has chosen that in prison, then go, well, you know what? It's, well, it's there were a lot your of decision. At the time, weren't they? So saying, go ahead. Go ahead. Be yeah. your guest. Mm. Like, and I think it's important to understand that uh, soon after they were imprisoned, it was only uh, the peer, Lord Longford, who visited Myra Hindley, for example, because he believed that within everybody was some nugget of goodness. And he <coughs> did believe. Uh, you know, in redemption, and he was vilified, mm. and he visited her in jail. You know, he was one of the only people she would see. But then maybe for decades. Yeah.